Hey church, my name is John Luke. We are in week one of our prayer and fasting, and this week we're talking about reverence. So I'd love to read a psalm with you, um, and then have a couple of points from that. Psalm chapter 8, verse 1 to 4. ESV says, O Lord our God, how majestic is your name in all the earth. You've set your glory above the heavens. Out of the mouth of babies and infants you have established strength because of your foes to steal the enemy and the avenger. When I look at the heavens and the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you've set in place, what is man that you're mindful of him and the son of man that you care for him? What I love about this psalm is that it is um, it is beautiful in, in, in speaking of God and the greatness of God. And my first question, I suppose, is when is the last time you've stopped and look, looked up at the star, looked up at the sky, and just allowed that to sink into and just internalize what you were looking at? Um, because all over and around us, there is creation. There are things that are screaming out the greatness of God. And so I want to encourage you to do that in this week as we're looking at reverence. Maybe you need to take a trip down to the beach. Maybe you need to get out into the woods and just have a moment to admire the handiwork of God. It says, when I look at the heavens, the work of your fingers. So there is an intentional stopping. And so a couple of things as well when you're, when you're looking is when you're looking at things that are bigger than us. Maybe it's the stars. Maybe you're going to be looking through a microscope. Maybe you're going to be really admiring um, sunsets or sunrise uh, waking up early. When you look, when you take intentional attention to the work of God around you, one of the things that you gain is perspective. You gain perspective. You, you look at things that are bigger than you. There's a psalm that I, that I love, a prayer, which is, um, which is where the writer writes, teach us to number our days so that we might gain a heart of understanding. When you look at your life and the span of your life throughout all of history in perspective to all of history, it actually puts what should be important into context right now. And so the other thing that when we stop and we look and we take intention, uh, we become um, people of understanding because it's not just about the now we know that the eternity comes into perspective and we start to actually think about things a lot more perhaps and, and give more attention to what we do what we say and who we spend time with the last thing about this is that when I look at creation when we take a look at creation we also really see the heart of God. He says here, what is man, what are human beings that you are mindful of them? If God is so big that he breathes out stars and we are but a vapor in all of creation and all of the universe, it gives a sense of smallness. But it also gives perspective really to the love of God and how incredible he is and how unworthy we were to receive love from him and so that love becomes ever more so tangible um, so, more, so much more vivid so much more powerful so much more intense and so I encourage you to take time aside this week at some point see a sunrise see a sunset go out into the forest and just have a look and appreciate God in all of his majesty and his grandeur and his bigness and allow that to permeate every single wall that you've got and let God connect with you on that level. So I encourage you this first week of prayer and fasting.